Baruch Hashem, it is day number 253 of our daily study of Ramam Sever Mitzvahs. And in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah, we are continuing in Hilchas Gzela Vaveda, that means laws of robbery and of lost objects, chapters 10, 11, and 12 of those laws. Now, I said yesterday when we learned negative commandment 250 of 265, um, which do you remember what that was? 265? That was Le Sachmaid which means don't envy, but it means, like we said, coming up with a scheme, how to acquire something that somebody doesn't really want to part with. All right. And I mentioned that today's mitzvah is going to be related. All right. So I'll explain to you, first of all, where they both come from. Um, I mentioned yesterday the Ten Commandments. And actually the verse that the Ramam gives as the source for yesterday's mitzvah is the first time the Ten Commandments appears in Torah. You know, the Ten Commandments is written twice, in Parshish Yisroi and in Parshish Vaschanan. So once in the book of Shmois, book of Exodus, and once in the book of uh, Dvarim, Deuteronomy. So uh, yesterday the Ramam gave the source in Exodus. Here we're using the source of the Ten Commandments in Deuteronomy, um, where it says, the Leisachmite do not... We have that word from yesterday. That was our mitzvah yesterday. Do not envy. Um, but then it goes on and says, Veloi sisave. Veloi sisave. It's from the word taive, uh, desire. So what's the difference between do not envy and do not desire? And it says both of those in, in, in one verse. So the Rambam says those are two distinct prohibitions. Lei sachmeid is what we had yesterday. Do not envy. And we explained what that means. It means coming up with a scheme how to get somebody to part with something that they don't want to part with. And that the prohibition is transgressed when you successfully get them to give you the item. Laisisave, which is today's mitzvah. Let's do this officially, formally. Negative commandment 266, like we always do, right? Negative commandment 266. And this is the mitzvah after yesterday's mitzvah, which was negative commandment 265. Okay. Negative commandment 266 is do not, we'll call it desire. Do not desire. What does it mean do not desire? Do not desire is even more intangible than do not envy. Do not envy was he was coming up with a plan how to get the item. Do not desire is is really very abstract. It's very intangible. It's just a feeling of, oh, I would really like to have that. And the Ramam actually explains one leads to the other. And the Ramam bases this on the Medrash from the Michilta. He says um, that when somebody will transgress Leisisave, he starts to desire that which doesn't belong to him. So that will lead to Leisachmeid. He'll start to scheme how to get it from him. And if he can't successfully do it by pressuring the guy to sell it or tricking the guy to sell it, then he'll even go as far as to transgress lay sigzail, do not commit robbery, because if he can't get it through uh, sweet-talking the guy or conniving the guy, then he's going to go do it by force. So lay sisava is really the beginning of the whole process. Just the desire for something that's not your own. And that, that's the prohibition. It's been pointed out that most mitzvahs are physical actions. You have to do something. And rarely do we talk about the inner world of the person, so to speak. But this mitzvah is really the source where you see that the Torah does have standards when it comes to our inner world. Uh, if I could invoke a little bit of Tanya for a moment, it's possible that an urge may come to you where you see something you like and you immediately just sort of out of reflex say, oh, I would really like that, even though it belongs to somebody else. But the minute you catch that urge and you become conscious of it, you have free choice, even though it's something completely internal. So that's the prohibition, and that lets us know that there are expectations when it comes to managing what's going on in our own private thoughts. Okay, that's our mitzvah for today. We will see you for more tomorrow, God willing.